Yeah, right, guys and girls, it's just a quick game I'm going to show you that I've been playing recently. Uh, it's called Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. And basically, if you guys remember Transport Tycoon from back in the um, you know the 90s, the late 90s, mid to late 90s, I suppose, or late late 90s, uh, it's that game only it's open source, so I am allowed to show you it, and I'm allowed to do videos of it, which is cool. Um, thinking of starting up a server on this game, I've got really, really into it over the past um, o over the past uh, couple of weeks. I've been just tinkering around on the thing. It's a kick-ass game, basically. Um, you've played Railroad Tycoon, I'm, I'm assuming, or um, Theme Park Tycoon, or Roller Coaster Tycoon, as, it, as it's called. It's a kind of the same sort of uh, same sort of thing. Well, what you've got to do is transport cargo, be it passengers, or um, oil, or uh, coffee beans, I don't know, anything really, whatever, whatever's on the map. You've got to transport it to, from one uh, location to the other location. So uh, let's just generate a random scenario, shall we? Uh, new game, just uh, randomise that number there, sea level very low. Uh, terrain type very flat, make it nice and easy for us. Number of towns high. Uh, yeah, land generator. Let's give it a biggish map, shall we? There we go. Number of industries high. There we go. Generate that. Right, got the phone going off. Bear with me a second, guys. All right. So where was I? Yeah. Um, just started a, a new. Um, a new map. You can zoom in with your mouse wheel in and out. Three levels of zoom on it. Uh, basically, all you do is you have a real nice thing up here. Um, go to industry. Find your industry. Sort by production, and it will tell you which you sort by production like that. And it's what's been doing the most stuff. So tons of grain. You could have grain, uh, livestock grain, 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 grain. Lots of grain. Um, wow, it's all grain on this one. There you go, coal mine. Alright, you've got a coal mine somewhere here. So, uh, Tons of coal. Right, you've got a little coal mine there. There's actually another one right next to it. So, uh, what you need to do is... I've got it invisible at the moment, so you can see through objects. You press the X button on your keyboard to make buildings and things see-through. So you can see through it, and it helps build your uh, thingy. Alright, so we've got that one there to that power station down here. So if we just build a train station, we we'll pause the game first. We we'll build a train station like this. Oops. Make sure it's set correctly. And we build another train station over here. Oops. Power station in the way. All right. And then all you do is you just link them both up. You can choose your company's colour. You can make a tunnel. I find it funny that you can put a tunnel underneath the uh, underneath the coal mines, uh, and you can put three tunnels underneath the coal mine. I find that quite humorous. You could you can actually do that. But um, yeah. that there, put that up here, up there, run that along here, run that along there, and link it up with that one. Then you get uh, a depot, a depot, uh, 
put it somewhere on the line, put another one on the other side, on the other end as well. As when you make a train, it will want to go into service in, so you put them at each end of the line, just to make it more easy. Uh, you go into here, get a new vehicle. Uh, let's change my company colour, shall we? So you can choose, uh, you know, randomise who you want to be. Yeah, he looks kind of cool. Uh, change the colour scheme. God, would put me as pink, won't it? Green, yeah. I like green. Uh, okay, you can adjust your name, put in whatever you want. Uh, company name, things like that. I'm not really that interested, so just leave it as it is. Cause I'm just showing you how this game works. Uh, anyway, yeah, back to make, back back to doing a train. Make a new train. You get three different kinds of steam engine. Um, this is dependent on year as well. Down at the bottom there, you've got. Uh, you can choose when to start the maps. If you play this online, you can get up to something like uh, the year six thousands. You know, six thousand odds. It's crazy. Uh, let's have a Jubilee, shall we? Yeah, one of those guys. And then a coal truck. Let's just have a couple of those. Okay, so now we've got the train in the in the, de in, the in the depot. Give it some orders. What it's got to do? We want it to go to these mines. We want it to take a full load. We don't want it to unload anything. And then we want it to go to the power station. We want to give, we want to make it unload all and don't load anything. And then we close that down. Tell the train to go. Away it goes. Well, wow, steam trains are very slow. Wait till you get to Maglev. That's amazing. You can't. Maglev at the moment is uh, is blocked out. Same as electric and monorail. But uh, when you get up to the year, I think it's 2050, you can get Maglev. I think it is. I think. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, you speed the game up a bit. You do have a handy little speeder upper, which you can speed the game up a bit. <clears throat> and what happens is, uh, as soon as the, the station will only start collecting coal when the train enters the station. Uh, but as soon as the train's entered the station, it, the coal will start building up from the. Uh, from the uh, from the mine. So if something if nothing happens at first, don't worry about it. Make a train or a car, sorry, a van, uh, a lorry, so, uh, a boat, or an aeroplane. Yeah, there's another thing you can get aeroplanes on here as well. Uh, we've got a nice little town here. I can show you. I want to make an airport, a small little airport, from this town here to say this town up here. There, like that. Well, we uh, press delete to, to clear the screen. So now we've got two airports. You then click on the hangar, get a new aircraft, find whichever one you want. I'm going to go for this one here. I've just bought that aircraft. Um, I want to tell that aircraft to go to this one first, then I want to tell it to go to this one down here. Uh, you can if you want to tell it uh, to take a full load or not to bother, but I'm not going to bother on this one. So the airplane will come out the hangar, this tells you how many passengers are waiting. Now he picked up no passengers, that's because there was no passengers waiting at the airport. Uh, think of it this way, the thing that carries the cargo tells the station what kind of cargo to accept. So at the moment they've got 10 passengers waiting at this airport. Now when the plane gets down here, which has got uh, nothing at this airport at the moment, 
As soon as he comes down and lands, you'll see that I'll start getting passengers. He'll go and take off instantly as well, because uh, he's obviously got no passengers to pick up. So at the moment he's just going around collecting the uh, the passengers. Like I say, you can tell it to take a full load, and what it'll do is it'll wait until the aeroplane is full, and then it'll take off and trans tra transport them. But I'm only doing this just just for show. Got me train there who's chuffing away collecting coal like a boss. You click on the train. Yeah, just wait a second. It's just landing. Look. You'll see as soon as. Where's he going? Is he going for a service? No, he's not. Now, if you wait a second, I'll start getting passengers come up into here. There you go. As easy as that. Uh, anyway, about the train. You go to the train, you click on the train, you get this window up, open up, and you go to this one, th this little uh, button down here. It shows his details. It shows you how much profit is made in, uh, in the given time. Now, because I've not had the game running a year yet, this is a, uh, a year in game time, obviously, not a year on the computer. Um, it's not filled that one in yet. But the train's making some good profit, as you can see. That's quite nice. You do get the option to take a loan out at the top here. Uh, the loan changes as, as time goes on, but uh, I can start repaying my loan back now. Well, that's as far as I can go. And that's where your money is at the bottom there, how much funds you've got. <coughs> um, yeah, and then also you can uh, you can have boats as well. So, whereabouts could I... Any towns around the water, which I could do a, a, a ferry. You can make ferries on there, you can do road vehicles. It's a kick-ass game, and it is free as well. Um, so if you just go into uh, into Google or something and type in Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, um, let me just show you the, the, the multiplayer game. So I abandon this game because I don't really want it. Uh, yes, I'll abandon that. I'll go to multiplayer, uh, internet. It loads up the internet list, but uh, I've already got the server that I was playing here, so I just double click on that. Um, there is my server. Uh, sorry, my uh, not a, not my server. Sorry, this is someone else's server in Romania. I'm guessing. Ru is that? Could that be Romania? No, Ru is Romania, isn't it? I'm not sure where Ru is. But uh, some server somewhere. That's my company, Dragon Express. I've got hell load of money in it. Um, double click on that because you can put a password on your company as well. I'm not showing you what my password is. Click that, and it'll um, you type your password in. Uh, wait until the map's finished downloading. It has to download the map every time uh, because the map's always changing. You can raise and lower land on the map uh, and do all sorts with it. Um, create waterways on the map. Plant trees, which I thought was quite nice. Uh, you can bomb certain squares of the map, you can blow up towns if you want to. You can keep bribing the town and blowing it up, <laughs> which is uh, which is quite fun. Uh, you can be cruel to your fellow competitors, uh, which, okay, it's going to get you told off, but it can be quite fun to do, uh, especially if you know the guy you're playing with, personally. It's, it's, uh, it's, it is quite fun. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So this is a, this is an online game, this one. Uh, it looks completely, it looks looks totally the same as uh, as the standard one. On this, uh, I am currently red, I think. No, I'm not. I'm green, but I've changed all the colours of my ships to red. These are my boats here. So, just tell me, how much profit have you made? <laughs> it's 45 years old, and it's got a maximum life of 25 years, but it's still running. Uh, and this and last year it made me twenty three thousand uh, and forty and forty pounds. So that's quite nice. That's just one ship, uh, of which I have got on this server. I have got 
a hell of a lot. I've got 32 boats. I've got uh, nine trains, and I've got road vehicles that aren't making me any money at all. <laughs> so what you do with those is you tell them all to go into the depot, because they're just wasting money, not worth not worth having. So yeah, that's basically this game, guys. Um, I thought I'd just show you it. It is a kick-ass little game. It, it has got sound on the game, I've just turned it down. You get your own cheesy, um, MIDI-style music uh, in, the, in MIDI format, which I turned down. I just have my iTunes going off in the, uh, in the background. You can turn your music up and down in, in the game. Sound and music. You can tell it to play tracks if you want to. But uh, no, I just leave it off. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool game. It's nice and easy on your system. It'll run on pretty much any machine. Hell, the thing was, the game was originally designed to be run on Windows 95, so... Uh, you don't need any other third-party programs to run the game. It just runs nice and well. Like I say, it is an open source game. Uh, so feel free to download it and send it to your mates. You know, it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, just uh, have fun with it, really. Yeah, if you were, uh, if you download this game uh, and you look online, you know, decide to play online, look out for my server. Um, I'm going to set one up somewhere, uh, possibly on my netbook, which is uh, in power save mode at the moment. It's turned on, just the screen's turned off. Um, and uh, yeah, just look for the name uh, John Dragon Man, uh, my YouTube name. Just put that in, uh, and hook up to my server, make a company up, have a bit of a play. Uh, if I can, and if I see you on, I'll send you some money. Uh, I can I can send you funds from my uh, from my account on on the game to your account, so to speak. You know, to to your company, from my company to your company to get you started. You get a massive loan. And, uh, you know, just have a bit of fun, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace out.